So for this tutorial, you are going to work in straight line analysis to respond to the structure of your hand. You're going to be building a skeletal frame, almost like a transparent hand, using the combination of lines, points, to create planes. When lines connect, planes start to emerge, as seen in this image. So why use the straight line analysis? Well, in fact, it's a geometric study that kind of better helps us explore and investigate structure, really without a concern for immediate accuracy, which is always tough. The rules for a straight line analysis is every line must be sharp and straight. So use that ruler. I cannot emphasize enough, don't try to make a straight line without your ruler. You are to create shapes by connecting lines with points so no floating lines right no just lines hanging out in space they must all connect and lastly start with big shapes and then work and sculpt those big shapes into smaller shapes that convey the detail that's key here and key for future drawings and this also applies with curves when you're working with curves, think of it as just a sequence of small straight lines. That will help you draw curves better in the future and create stronger, more accurate forms. Alright, so let's get started. First thing I do is plan out my drawing by using the chalk I have to quickly sketch out to figure out what scale I want and where I want it on the page. This is a one to two minute drawing that we'll cover in future exercises when we get to intercross. For the sake of time, I've sped up the video so you can get started right away. So once I knock back my sketch, I go ahead and start with the general forms. As you see, I'm grabbing my ruler here, and I'm starting out with the outline and working on a few interior forms. Remember, you want to work generally, so I'm not starting out with detail. I'm getting the big angles. I'm looking for those major edges, those major angles here. If you have a small ruler, those are great. That's what I went and grabbed was my small ruler so I could work quickly. I'm not worrying about complete accuracy or detail yet. Remember, I just want to craft and plan out my drawing. So I've completed the general shape, and now I'm going to begin to sculpt. So starting at this thumb, I've worked and added more lines to make it more three-dimensional. You can see diagonal lines create a sense of space. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm now pushing from just the outline to those, that interior information. Right now I'm just checking some points using lining up these points in space. And so where we are in this class is this might seem like a little bit of guesswork, and that's okay. We're kind of getting thrown into the deep end, one might say, for this. It's an exploratory, experimental process to find these forms in space. You'll notice I'll be doing a lot of erasing, a lot of finding, a lot of pushing things back to capture the essence of the form. Right now I'm concerned with exploratory marks that find the structure of the hand. My concern isn't detail, it's finding the structure. And don't forget, your hand is right there, so touch it, push it, feel it, smell it, do whatever you can to figure out the form. And remember, none of these lines exist in space. Lines do not exist. We are looking for them. This is a discovery process. I'm looking for them. I'm realizing some of the lines aren't quite accurate, so I knock them back and I work on top. You'll see in the palm area, I struggle a little bit to get the clarity and, and understanding of the planes there. So throughout the video, I'm going to modify, adjust, correct, and, and repeat the process throughout to get a sense of clarity and a feeling of three-dimensionality for that space. Ugh. 
I'm going to continue trying to figure out what I'm doing. It's not showing off. It's looking for form and trying to understand a structure. I can't say it enough, right? Trying to understand what I'm drawing, asking questions as I work, and sculpting away. Remember, don't just focus on the exterior marks, focus on those interior forms. Ask, how is this being created? How is the skin being stretched over the bone? What kind of forms am I starting to see here? How is this handmade? Put marks that you would never put, like this right here. Something I eventually knock back because I'm trying to figure out the structure of the finger and then I modify it. That's okay. Erase, erase away. Plot it and erase it. Use drawing as a discovery process. Remember to connect those lines. When you connect those lines, what do you get? You get planes. So no hanging lines. That can be addressed at the end too, where you know some lines aren't exactly lining up, then go ahead and move it. As you can see here, I'm, I'm completely knocking back a drawing just so I can see what I'm doing and work right on top of it. When you erase, don't erase at all. Still, still, there should still be some little element of that drawing from before. That's okay. Shows that you've pushed and that you've reworked something and that you have the intelligence and skill and understanding to know when you need to correct, when you need to modify. Keep drawing, keep working, spend at least an hour on this, on this discovery process. Your goal is to get to some detailed forms, detailed marks here, using straight lines. Keep those pencils sharpened and keep using the ruler.
a neat little trick is if your line gets a little hard to see, go ahead and put your ruler on top of that line and use your eraser to knock back any kind of mess around it. That's what I'm doing right here. You'll notice in the final stages of the drawing, I'm redrawing some areas a little bit darker to reinforce them and give a sense of volume, as well as adding a little bit more detail and cleanup throughout. And you get a real sense of the geometric form happening here. Even though it's not the precise contours of the hand, it has the dimension and overall you learn how this hand appears, right? Like, a, like an invisible framework being exposed. You can see all the planes of the form through the network of line and point coming together. And that completes this drawing right here. Lastly, don't forget to label and submit to web courses. Thank you.